This year is going to be a, door, a time when the season when God is going to prepare many doors for you. The bottom line I'm trying to share with you tonight, maybe haltingly, is this. Don't be disappointed if the door doesn't fly wide open at your first opportunity. Be willing to see the, 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 the reaping in due season has a caveat. It says if you don't quit, if you don't faint. So you have to hold the promises of God in your heart. And if they don't come when you think they come, don't give up on it. I've seen so many people walk away from a blessing because it's just taken too long for them. They've rattled at the door too long. You will get to a point, however, when you approach the door, you'll know when it's open. And you won't doubt for one split second that when you put your hand on that doorknob, it'll open up for you. You'll go into a place. You'll, you'll go to buy a car. You're looking at a house. You, whatever the circumstance may be. There's a quickening in your spirit that the Spirit of God is telling you the door's open. Some people will never try. Some people won't ever check the door. Am I being too ambiguous? I, it's one of those things, sometimes God speaks to me in very ambiguous ways, you know. I think what I'm trying to say to you is be patient if it doesn't bust open the first time that you want to lean against it. You see? Because faith doesn't ever quit. If I have to convince, continue to convince people that a certain attitude or level of behavior is the correct way, if I have to continue to wind them up, uh, it's very difficult because unless you have the faith to believe, you'll never have the faith to receive. And they're linked together. Yeah. Whatsoever things you desire, when you pray, believe you receive. Yeah. And don't let doubt come in, you see. So again, that's a knowledge of knowing that's an exit door. It's got a sign above it. I know what it's supposed to do. But if you've ever tried some of these doors, those exit doors are locked. Sometimes they're locked. They're not supposed to be legally, but sometimes they're locked because we want people to go to another door. But that doesn't stop me every time I see that exit door of trying to see if it's open. Do you understand what I'm saying? I know it sounds like you're getting two sides of the coin here. It's very subtle. But your prayer life will open up your sensitivity as to which direction to go and which door to choose. Make sure it's the effectual door, not just some door that the enemy's placed there as an alternative to the right one. You follow me? It's like Ishmael and Isaac, you know. His wife convinced him to go ahead and try another way of doing it. And yet God has said, out of your own loins. And he wasted a lot of time. It caused a lot of problems. And a whole tribe was birthed out of his fleshly attempt to make something that God had promised happen. You see? That's how he learnt the difference between faith and the lack of it. The father of faith. So, be encouraged this year. It's going to be a great year.